Well, must be continuing to move on here. Let's check the map, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. A ways to go yet. Uh-oh. A bear just hanging out. Probably dead. And just bugged. No, not dead. Missed. Holy crap. I didn't hit anybody, did I? Okay. Oh wait, that's not my kill either, is it? Wow. There's a windmill up there. Okay, now I think south of where the road forks off there. Oh yes, he said it was right along a lake, didn't he? Did Lucius say it was right along the lake? And there's a mist over the lake, even. Ah! We don't even need to find Nagastani. I see the stone right over here. I wonder if that adventuring party will be nearby if anything crazy goes down over here. Let's see if we can recon first, perhaps. Okay. I presume that's Miss Dronalu. That must be the gentleman who wrote the note. I don't see anyone else, but I find it hard to believe that he's alone. Alright, well, let's approach like we are not really interested in conflict. You're not Dranalu. I'll bet he sent you, though. He always was too much of a coward to do his own work. Damned swit. Well, it's his sister who'll pay the price. And you, Enwa, will show you not to cross the Kamona Tong. What the, the Kamona Tong? Alrighty. Oh, I had it poisoned still. Ooh, okay, that's one down. Uh, oh, God, an archer. Two archers, okay. Um, hmm. This may be the time for this. Get behind cover. Oh, he's a wily one, although he's got a mud crab on his ass. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that mud crab made him pay, didn't it? Nice! Okay, now what? What? Who's fighting who here? Oh, more mud crab fight? <laughs> it, knocked, it knocked even the ancestor guardian ghost down. Oh, Grandpa just wanted to really sh stick it to that mud crab. All right. Well, we've succeeded at something. Where did the young lady go? Short sword of pain. Worth it. Okay, Grandfather. What? You are spazzing out, aren't you? Chasing butterflies? Is that what you're doing? Orvas Arethi. Chainmail boots. Tong bone mold curas. Quiras. Hmm. Bone mold, eh? Must be modded. Oh. Hello. I thank you for saving me from those Tong bastards, but who are you? And where is Milosh? Oof, okay. Um, 
First off, let me introduce myself. My name is Nebish. Uh, my name is Nevenor. I too am Dunmer, as you can see, uh, from Morrowind. I am the current owner of what was once Way Manor. Uh, Maxentius Aloysius, the previous owner, fell by my hand. Oh god, the graphics are glitching out over here. Sorry, guys. Um, and I've taken over the manor at the behest of the townspeople of Way. Your brother, Milos, was, as you remember, Maxentius' bodyguard. Unfortunately, despite myself, I think, me having made friends with him, and I think considering him a companion of mine, he decided that his loyalty to his lord mattered more than his friendship with me, and I had to slay him. Oh, there we go. You, you killed him! How could you? How could you? Get away from me! Get away from me, murderer! Oh... Man. Should ask about the Kamana Tong first. Don't know what the hell these guys are doing here. Kidnapping his sister, no less. Well, we might be able to make a complete set of bone mold armor here. If these guys have enough on them. But, uh, I don't think it's going to be better than what I have. Oh, light leather cuirass. No, that's not that great. Monotong thugs. Ooh. Arrows of scorching, thank you. Bone mold boots and bone mold bracers. Hmm. And nothing on them like a journal or anything like that. Nothing steel bow. Nothing revealing what the hell they... Oh, thank you, Grandfather. What the hell they were doing here, right? I didn't miss anything on this guy. No. What time is it? Lunchtime. Alright, let's just eat really quickly, then I'll check the journal and see what it says. That was I, I enjoyed that fight at least. It was kind of neat to have the the steed stone rocks as like a cover for those archers. That was neat. I don't know if the mod maker planned it that way, but I, I would guess that they did. I want to give them a lot of credit because this mod has been fantastic so far. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. That fight in particular was a lot of fun. Now, where Marina ran, I have no idea. I talked to Marina Dranilu. Unfortunately, the news that I was responsible for her brother's death caused her to flee in grief. Hopefully she will turn up at some point. Well, phooey. I did kill her brother, though. That's a real bummer. Uh, I could check for a Nern route around this lake, but... I kind of want to get back home. I think I'll probably spend the night in Way Manor again this evening. And... Is there somebody on the road? There's an entourage of guards up there. Spend the night in Way Manor this evening, and... Um, then teleport back to Leowen tomorrow. Way Manor. Sorry. Wickseed Manor. Gotta remember my own damn name for the thing. This is a really pretty area, though. I can't wait to come back here. Obviously, unique landscapes improves this quite a bit. Who are all these people walking the roads? There's a party of adventurers, a whole bunch of guards. Who are you? Greetings. Ranger. What can I do for you? Oh, just saying hello. Oh, I can ask her to travel with me. Um, I would, but that wouldn't really provide me an advantage right now, and I don't know how long she would travel with me. I want to say I read the the mod read me. This is uh, what is oh god roaming NPCs I think is the name of the mod uh, and you can persuade if they like you enough you can persuade uh, 
people you meet on the road to follow you. But they'll only follow you for, you know, a couple of days or something like that. And right now, that'd be kind of disadvantageous because I'm only heading back to Exceed Manor and then I'm going to go to Leowin and just kind of explore Tobal Bay. It'd be really nice to have her with me when I go up the, like, Silverfish or the Corbolo or something. But uh, I don't think she'll follow me that long, so I won't, I won't ask. Be seeing you. It's very nice to meet you, though. My grandfather was, excuse me, quite a what quite a help in that fight as well. That's a very pretty view. At least he provided a distraction. He got a little pissed off at the mud crabs, though, man. Also, the mud crab giving that kimono tong thug a catapult into the air was quite fun. I wonder where Marina would go. Would it, okay, so the only thing that we knew about Milos was that he worked for Maxentius, right? He didn't really tell us where he was from in Morrowind or how in any way he would have been tangled up with the Morag Tong. I guess we didn't know him for that long that he would share those kinds of intimate details with us. Um, which is fine, but we have no idea if Marina had, you know, came to Morrowind with, uh, came to Cyrodiil with Milosh, if they've always lived in Cyrodiil, if they've only come since, you know, recently to Cyrodiil from Morrowind, if so, um, did Marina come here with Milosh, or did she only come here because the Kamona Tong kidnapped her, like, what, what happened there, we don't know. Damn. Hey gang, so it crashed. Uh, I think it crashed because it was trying to render the town of Eurosec, maybe, and all its NPCs. But we had an autosave from not too far before that. Where, what is this? This little wall here. It's just a wall in the middle of nowhere. No other signs of a structure at all. Oh, a little one right here. So this is corner of a house built over rocks, apparently. Tan jug, stone cup. Some old manor, maybe. Or old cottage. Interesting. Um, yeah, I like that little mystery. Don't know how there'd be rocks, big, big boulders right in the middle of where that was obviously built, but... Um, anyway, so I was about to com complete my thought about Marina, which is to say that I I would think that she had been kidnapped by the Kimona Tong um, from Morrowind. Because what are the Kimona Tong doing in Cyrodiil? You know, they probably came from Morrowind, right? They're not here naturally. Um... Maybe they came here specifically to kidnap Marina, I don't know. Hmm? Shit. What? What? Is there something at the fort that saw me? No, just a boar. I'm gonna try... The needle. Woof. Now granted that was just a young boar. But that's powerful. These weapons rock. Mafala's needle and war spite. Uh, yeah. So anyway, my thought was you would expect if Marina had come from. Oh my God! No wonder the game crashed earlier. If Marina had come from, um, Morrowind, you would think that when she ran away from me for having slain her brother sad as that is, she would have uh, headed towards Chaden Hall and probably on to Morwen from there, but instead she ran west, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know what that means.
Well, after an unexpected detour, we at least saved the sister of a man we had to slay unjustly. Um, so we did a good deed. Though, kind of a regretful one. Uh, and unfortunately, in doing the good deed, we also had to tell her that we are the ones who slew her brother, and she now hates us and ran away. But at least we saved her. Flag from Bruma right up there. I like that the flags are added, because then you can actually see them. Wow, you can see the... That's the windmill that we saw from the road over there. Just, you can just barely, I mean, it's like 10 pixels high. That's cool. I really, really like having the LOD updated for unique landscapes because it really makes the game feel... It really makes the game crash a lot. I was about to say, it really makes the game feel like you're living in a bigger world than you can ever know. But the game crashed. I don't think it crashed because of... Uh, the LOD, necessarily. I think it crashed because I was approaching the Imperial City and I don't know. Something. Not sure what. Um, usually I think it crashes more due to NPC AI overload than it does to landscape issues, but I think the landscape does factor in every now and then. Anyway. Yes, I really like having the LOD on. Um, I think I finished the thought about Marina, right? Now I that the game's crashed two times down in a row and I can't recall what's been discussed and what hasn't. Um, and I talked about the weapons, Warspite and Mafala's Needle Rock. I named it Mafala's Needle because it's a Daedric weapon. Nevish would have no problem using a Daedric weapon. And I think if he was going to use a Daedric weapon, he would name it after one of the three Daedra that he worships. Make it kind of consecrate it to Mafala's purposes. Deer's just hanging out. Okay. We just need to get to Wickseed. We can have some dinner. Go to sleep. Wake tomorrow and uh, head back to Leowin. I won't cut through the city this time. I'll go around the outside. Getting a couple of really good uh, Banner Saga songs right in a row here. This is not a wolf, I think. It's just a sheepdog, right? Yep. Hello. This boar looks familiar. So, I would guess that the first act of the LP is about halfway over. I think. Barring any big quests jumping out of nowhere and surprising me. Um, I would say that we're about halfway to getting our collecting expedition over with, which is what the first act is meant to be concerned with. Um, the second act will probably cover not quite as many videos as the first act. It'll be shorter, I think, based on what I have planned for it. The third act, I'm not sure how long it will be, but I think it'll be longer than the second act and maybe as long as the first act. We'll see. Just wanted to see what books visits had here. Uh, oh, sorry, that was rather jarring. Ah, Legionnaire out to change the watch on the bridge, eh? Citizen. So that's the expectation. 
But then again, I made predictions about the length of the Skyrim LP all throughout playing the Skyrim LP, and every one of them pretty much turned out to be wrong. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. looks pretty cool. I wish, I guess, if I could change anything about my outfit currently, it'd be to have a bit, oh, a bit better of a matching, um, cuirass. Leather cuirass doesn't quite go with the general male look I've got going on elsewhere, but, um, it's not like a glass or dwarven cuirass, which would really stand out in like a th sore thumb. Hello. Hello. <laughs> ah, home. Such as it is. Hey, if Thelonious is here, maybe I'll sell him this little bit of... Oh! This little bit of gear. Okay, I'll talk to her first. This is more important. Marina? I... I came to apologize. I'm sure you wouldn't... You wouldn't have killed Milos if only, if only you had known. The people here all love you for what you did. One of them said you needed a maid. I can do it. Cook and clean for you. I do owe you my life. Hmm. Hmm. That's a little questionable, because she just called us a murderer and ran away from us. Oh, she took the letter. Okay. Um, which kind of makes me think that she would... Maybe she thought about it later on. She's like, you know what? I'm going to kill that motherfucker for killing my brother. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is offer my services as a maid, get inside of his house, and then I can kill him in his sleep kind of thing. Mm. But I think Nebish feels bad enough for having killed Milos in the first place, and now his sister is without a brother... She's unemployed, she needs help. He's going to take her in and um, try to make up for his sin of having slain Milos by being extra good to his sister. Also, Nebish, of course, is single and knows that she's a single, well, presumes she's a single Dunmer, and a uh, single Dunmer living in the house is something that might lead to something, uh, at least in Nebish's mind. But he's not. that's not in the forefront of his mind, that's just kind of... Uh, his id is kind of prodding him, like, hey, 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 buddy, nothing wrong with letting her live in the house. Um, let's ask you about the Kimono Tong. What the hell? They're bad people. They got Milos and I out of Vivek during the Troubles, but we didn't know what they were, really. Shit. Something, I missed it. They said he was going to get them some sort of gem, and if he didn't, they would make me... Make me... Oh, it's terrible. I'm glad you killed them. Glad. Sorry guys, I skipped that one line. If you go back and pause the video, for you, you can probably read it really quickly. Uh, actually, oh wait, I can do it. Bad people. Slavers and skooma dealers and just plain thieves and muggers. And then they made Milos work for them. Okay, so they helped you guys out of Vivek. Um, not sure what was so difficult. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure what the difficulties were in Vivek. Maybe personal difficulties. They helped you get out of there. As payment, Milos had to work for them. And you kind of became his, uh, not ransom, what's the word when you hold something over someone? Not blackmail, either. Like a scheme where they're like, hey, we've kidnapped your daughter. If you want to see her alive, you have to do these things for us. And then you have to, I don't know what that's, it, it's called something, it's, I can't think of it, though. Uh, extortion, maybe? I don't know, they were extorting Milos to do things because of his sister. So that's probably why Milos was working for Maxentius, right? Because the note to Milos that we found in our doorway said that um, they wanted him to get something from Maxentius. So he probably infiltrated Maxentius's home. He probably didn't even... Why did he kill... Why did I have to kill him then? Why was he so loyal to Maxentius? Maybe he thought if I killed Maxentius, he wouldn't get a chance to take the thing that he needed to take. Hmm. That could be. He was maybe thinking of his sister and wanted to save her and 
Thought that I'd get in the way. Eh, okay, possibly. Tell me about Milos. Can we... Can we please not talk about my brother? Okay. Well, there are servants' quarters downstairs. We, uh, somewhere. Oh, servants' quarters. That's right, we... Oh, when I was in the house, I'm like, Oh, why is this bedroom prepared? What the hell? I paid for servants' quarters, that's why. Duh. You guys probably left those comments on the video. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Have not found uh, Elahai yet. Sorry. Uh, do you know anything about the Kimono Tong? I found Milosh's sister, and she was being held by them. Ah, I know you can take care of yourself and all, but best not go getting mixed up with them. A bad lot, they are. They run all the organized crime in Morrowind. I know that. Sort of like the Thieves Guild, except slavers and skooma traders. Dude, you're talking to a Dunmer from Morrowind, I know that. Among other things, of course. And they're mean, too. Just as soon kill anyone who's not Dunmer as look at them twice. Worse, they run everything behind the scenes in Morrowind politics. Though I guess you don't need to worry about that. Can't begin to tell you how much of a problem they were when I was in Balmora. Hmm. Interesting. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Oof. 19,000 I can buy it back from you for. Uh, still don't have a lot of gold. Well. Wait a minute. Why do I have 4,000 gold? Oh, okay, that's right, I kept some gold, didn't I? Uh, I'm going to sell you... Oh, I need to do an arrow case, don't I? Hmm. I'm going to sell you this stuff. That's more than I'd usually pay. But, I'm going to keep the bone mold stuff. I will put that in a display case when I have it. That's it, I think. Uh, let's see. Should I buy the display cases? Uh, no, that'd be that's more gold than I even have right now. What's the cheapest thing that he's selling? Basement tapestries. Yeah. Oh, the manor guest room. Well, I don't need that right now. Okay, I'll just save up more money then. Tell your friends about me. Thank you, Thelonious. You're fantastic. And I will find Elahai someday. Alright. Let's see if Marina has made herself at home. And then, uh, we'll eat some dinner and go to bed? She would be over here, yes? This would be the servant's quarters? Okay, yes, it would be, but she's not there. Be in the dining room? Yes. Okay, well, let's sit and have dinner with Marina. Well met. Oh. You seem to be more friendly now. Welcome home. How may I serve you? Oh. What is this? Drink? Wish I could, but we have no wine cellar. Oh, okay. Food? Of course, have some of my wickweed bread. It's a family specialty. Oh! Well, it's very fitting that you work here in Wickseed Manor, then. Uh, the lights? Yes, what about them? I'll manage the bed, the bedroom lights, fireplace lights. Okay, let's say the dining room lights. Try not to leave everything on all night. Oh, so maybe. Okay. Hmm. Light the dining room lights normally. Okay, so I see. So she, by default, has control of the lighting. Presumably, during different times of the day, she will dim or raise the lights, I guess. Cool. Tell me about Wei. Oh, it's a pleasant enough place. It reminds me of Saran a little bit. Saran was green and nice. That's where you're from, huh? Well, I guess the slaves weren't so nice. And those creepy Lalu lords... Epic conversation music. But they're both beautiful places, and the people are all so nice. Yes, I suppose I do like it here. So I guess she spent some time in Wei, then, has she? Prior to this. 
Okay. Well, enjoy your meal. Yes, come on. There we go. Um, let's crack open a bottle. Uh, we'll share this with uh, Marina. Bottle of Surly Brothers Vintage 399. Fantastic. And we'll live high on the hog with uh, an apple <laughs> and a blackberry. And oh, we'll eat that boar meat. And some corn. Well, that was downright civil. Marina, welcome to Wixseed Manor. I'm sure you will make a fine maid. And thank you very much for being understanding. You know what? I'm going to go this way. Good night. Okay, let's just repair really quick. Oh, right, the bone mold stuff. We gotta drop that in the chest here. Is it? It's not actually better than what I currently have on, is it? I don't think it is. Boots. Ways 4 does 2. Uh, no, not as good as the water walking ones. Uh, bracers weighs two, does two. Same as the gauntlets. Hmm. And Quiros weighs eleven, does five. Weighs more than the Quiros of the Thief Catcher, but does two more defense, but does not fortify health. Hmm. How does it look? Let's see. Whoa, does not fit at all. <laughs> it looks awesome. But unless I have a full set, it's going to look very weird. Is that my skin? No, that's not my skin. My skin is more olive colored than that. Um, yeah, that doesn't look right. It looks really cool, though. But no. I wouldn't I'm not even gonna keep the bracers on. Those just they don't fit. They don't fit the outfit. Okay. Cool though. Definitely something cool to put in a display case. Oh, the short sword oh I gotta sell that too. I should sell it to Okay. Should have sold it to Thelonius. That in there too. Okay. Bed, I think. It's very early. Um, yeah, let's just get a straight 12 hours of sleep. This will be, you know, Nebish has been traveling a lot. This will be an earned long break whole evening in his home to himself uh, and I guess yeah that's probably the end of this play session so next time we'll finally get back to doing the things I thought we were gonna do at the end of the last play session but delayed on because uh, I ended up coming to Wickseed Manor and doing all kinds of things after that so until next